GoPro's newest action camera is hardly a radical upgrade from the Hero 7 Black, but it is a better, simpler, easier to use GoPro that just may be the only standalone camera you need. The first difference you'll notice about the Hero 8 Black is, it's naked. The plastic frame from earlier Hero models is gone. Instead, the Hero 8 has built-in mounts that fold into the camera. The more compact design makes it much simpler to just toss the camera in a bag and go do action-y things. The new design means GoPro had to relocate the battery, charging port, and SD card to the side. The good news is, that makes it super easy to swap out a battery or SD card without having to take the camera off its mount. The best tweak on the Hero 8 is its buttery new image stabilization. GoPro's updated HyperSmooth feature now allows you to shoot stabilized footage in all frame rates and resolutions, including slow-mo. The first version of HyperSmooth is good, but HyperSmooth 2.0 is just that much better, cutting out nearly all of those nauseating dips and bumps. Seeing HyperSmooth 2.0 in action, it's hard to imagine watching GoPro footage without it. And if regular stabilization isn't enough, Hero 8 lets you turn on HyperSmooth Boost, which cuts out the jitters even more. But it's only usable in certain settings, the image is more cropped, and honestly, I never really found it necessary. GoPro also bumped up the lens options on the Hero 8, giving you everything from super tight to super wide. Simpler design, better lenses, and improved image stabilization are definitely the Hero 8's best features. But GoPro also packed a lot of smaller tweaks into this year's model. This includes an improved time warp feature that lets you switch to real-time mid-shot and night-lapse for capturing low-light time-lapse footage. There's also a list of handy preset modes for those of us who hate screwing around with the settings. You get better HDR shots, customizable screen controls, improved audio capture, and more. At $400, the Hero 8 Black certainly isn't a must-have if you're already packing a Hero 7 Black. But it's a huge upgrade from anything older, and it's probably the best action camera you can buy right now.